When the time comes that you need to mint, no problem, just go to page A2 and find the mending stitch, stitch 30, 31, and 32. Now this is usually when you've got a rip in your fabric, something's come apart, there's been openings created, washed, all that stuff. Well, you've got this rough area. So first thing you wanna do is interface the back. I'm gonna just put this other piece of fabric back here and we're gonna stitch over it. Notice on your stitch, we have the foot A and there is a black dot in the upper left corner. That's where it's gonna start. So you might wanna kinda of angle these stitches over it. If your opening is bigger, we're gonna do one repeat and then repeat it again. Notice you also have the reverse button is showing on screen, which means we're gonna to need to use it during the, uh, during the sewing process. So I'm putting my fabric kind of in that upper left corner and then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch. What it's gonna do is actually take some stitches forward. You need to tell the machine when it should turn around. So by touching the reverse button one time, now the machine is gonna go back and then fourth, what it did on that first line was counted how many stitches forward you had it take. That way, it can do that same amount of stitches each time moving the needle from the left needle position all the way to the right needle position. Now once again, if your opening is bigger than seven millimeters wide, what you'll wanna do, you can cut your thread and let the machine reset. Oh, I <laughs> got my foot a little heavy there. So I'll just move my fabric over and then go ahead and stitch again. Now, it doesn't remember the length the second time. So once again, you will need to set it. I just couldn't remember if it did or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it again. This way, we can keep on going as needed. But what's really nice, I'm gonna just go ahead and end there is that you get a nice filled in area that you can match with your thread. So it really looks part of the fabric when it's done. Now, if you need a little bit of extra reinforcement, these other stitches, especially 32, that's gonna have stitches that are gonna go back and forth prior to then going up and down. So kind of hold all those threads. If a lot of them are frayed out, they'll kind of keep them in place before you start the wonderful mending stitch.